It's been incredible to think that it's been two whole years since the Cheltenham Literature Festival was last here, but all of the familiar sights and sounds are here. The tents are up, the bookshop is open, the authors are here, and of course, we're told that ticket sales have been encouraging. Organisers, though, took a big risk. They had to decide back in June whether or not to go ahead. So has that risk been worth it? There's something strangely familiar about all of this, and for many, some who have travelled from across the country to be here, it's been missed. It's one of those things that you look forward to every year. It's great to see so many people again actually participating in an event like this. It's my favourite one actually, although I'm a classical musician, this is the one I like best because I like history and politics and things like that. So uh, it's good to be back. We haven't been for the last two years obviously because of Covid so it's absolutely fabulous that we can get back here and it's particularly for the first day. Authors have been lining up to be on the Litfest stage this year and for those like chef Monica Galetti, here to promote a book on cooking at home, events like this have been a long time coming. I think this is my first normal event, um, you know, and it, it is a sign that things are coming back, isn't it? Things to, to look forward to. Um, you know, our industry, I think like many others, you know, took a, a battering. Um, you know, we've been open, the restaurants, my restaurant's been back open since May. Uh, and every week I, uh, we're just grateful <laughs> you, know, that, 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 you know yes we, we, we can still you know keep going so I think like events like like this you know people can get back into starting to live a bit more it may be starting to feel and sound like a festival of old but of course there's a risk because ticket sales aren't expected to match those of two years ago so has that risk paid off we're very much encouraged by the appetite that's still there for live events and live encounters with authors you know we think people have really really missed that and it's not the same on zoom no, it's just not it's just not the same and um, so yes ticket ticket sales we're pretty confident that we're, we're going to be um, pretty much on track by the end of the festival the lip fest of course is more than those who have just missed the talks and the books for traders in the town the influx of visitors is being welcomed. Amazing. I mean, Cheltenham's a festival town anyway, so we really miss the festivals not coming and obviously racing not on, and so having the, the Lit Fest back is just fantastic. So it's all starting to feel a bit like normal, and for so many people, it's good to be back. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West, Cheltenham.